Hello and welcome to the next video in this Craft CMS3 tutorial series. A blog is a very common feature on many websites, so I thought it would be a great next step for this tutorial series. It's also super easy to create a simple blog quickly in Craft CMS. So let's get started. We'll go to our code here, and in the templates folder, we'll create a new folder called blog. We're creating a folder because we're actually gonna have two template files. One will be the blog listing page where we list all the blog posts, and the other template will be the template for an actual individual blog post itself. So for the first template, let's create a new file. And because this is in the blog folder, we can call it index.twig. And we're going to extend from the main index twig file here, which if you remember, contains all of our base template stuff like the body tag and the head information. So just like we do in other templates, we'll say extends index. And keep in mind, this index is the index template file here, not the index file within the blog directory. And again, just like we do in our other templates, we'll create a block here called content. And this is where we'll put all of our template. So let's create a heading here and just say our blog. And maybe we'll create a paragraph that just says, welcome to our sweet blog. After we've created the blog post, we'll create a loop here where we loop through each of the blog posts and create a link to them and that sort of thing. But for now, this will do. Now, something interesting to note here is that we can actually visit this template in the browser, even though we haven't created any section or entry in Craft CMS. And that's just based off the folder structure. So because there's a blog folder in our templates directory, we can go to our website slash blog. And this will load an index file if one exists inside the blog directory. So we're able to see our template right here already. So the next template we'll create is the one for the individual blog post itself. So we'll create a new file and let's call this underscore entry dot twig. We could call this anything we want, but underscore entry for repeating elements like blog post seems to be a common convention. And we'll do the same thing we did a minute ago where we'll extend from the index template. Again, not this index template, but our main layout index template. And we'll create a block called content. And here we're going to want to output the blog post title, for example. So it will probably be entry.title. So we'll just put that there. And then we'll want to output the blog post's content. Now, to keep things simple, we're going to reuse our rich text field for the blog post content. So we can just do entry.richText and save that. All right, now let's move into the Craft CMS admin panel. So let's go to settings and sections. And you can see we have three sections already. We have our home, contact, and about pages. And these all use a single section type because they're one-off templates, unique templates. In the case of these two pages, they actually share the same template, but they're not repeating elements and they're not structured content. So they are the single section type. We'll create a new section and we'll call this blog posts. And instead of using a single section type, we're going to use channel. And this is good for repeating elements that we want to be organized by something like a post date, for example. So we'll leave that as channel. And for the URI format, let's make all of our blog posts be at the URL blog slash the blog slug, which will be the title in a hyphenated format. For the template of each individual blog post, we want to use our entry twig file here, so we will select that and let's save. Great, now that we have a blog post section, let's add some fields to it. We can do that by pressing edit entry types 
And we have to press blog post again here. This is because we can have multiple entry types. So we might have a blog post with a certain template or layout, but then have other blog posts with a different template or layout. For example, some blog posts might be articles and others might be a featured video. But for now, we just have one entry type, which is a blog post. So let's click this again and scroll down to design our field layout. Let's create a new tab and call it content. And we'll drag the rich text field up here and save. We already have the title field here, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's press save. Now let's go to entries. And we have a new channel here called blog posts. So let's click that. And let's create three quick blog posts. Press new entry. And we'll call this our first blog post. And I've copied some lorem ipsum, so I'll paste that in here and save. Let's create a second one. Paste in some more lorem ipsum. And we'll create one more. And paste that in and create. So let's go to our website again on the blog page and refresh. And of course, nothing shows up here because we need to query these blog posts in our template and output them. So let's do that now. Go back to our index.twig file here. First, we'll create a variable for our blog post query. So we'll say the posts equal craft.entries.section because we want to get all entries from our particular section, in this case, our blog, blog posts, and then we're going to get all of them. So we'll say dot all. And just to be clear here, this blog post is the handle of our section. So if we look in Craft CMS again, under sections, we have blog posts here, and that's the handle, blog posts. All right, so now that we've queried four of the posts, we have them contained in this variable. Now let's loop through this variable. We'll say for post in posts. And let's output the title, post.title. And then we'll output the rich text for now, post.rich text. And we probably want a link to read the full article, even though we're actually outputting the full article here. We'll shorten this later. But let's create a new link here. So we'll create a paragraph tag with a link inside it. And this will go to the post.url, which every entry, if it has a public URL, has this .url property. And we'll just say read more and save that. So let's go back to the browser and refresh. And here we see all of our blog posts loaded in here. The title, the rich text, and then a link to the article detail page itself. So let's try the first one. Great, here we are. And this is using our underscore entry template right here to output the title and the rich text. So let's go back to the main blog page. One thing we might want to do here is not display the full article content on this listing page, but just a shorter version of it. So let's take a look at that. In our index.twig file, instead of outputting the full rich text of the article, we want to create just a shortened version of it. So this will output HTML, in this case, just paragraph tags. So if we just want to get a shortened version of this, let's actually remove all HTML tags using a filter called strip tags. This is how you use a filter in Twig. So this content will be filtered through this. So this will remove all HTML tags. So let's save this and look at the page. Here we have three paragraphs and let's refresh. It's removed all paragraph tags, making this one big text blob. Now let's shorten this text to a certain number of characters. So we use another filter 
called Slice. And we want to start at the first character, which would be zero, the zero index. And let's say, let's get the first 100 characters. Save that. And let's just add a dot, dot, dot after that to indicate there's more content not being displayed here. So we'll save that and refresh. That looks a little silly, just given our template here. So let's increase the default here, maybe say 180 characters. Okay, great. So there we get the first few lines of the article and then it ends and you can read more by clicking a link where the full article is displayed. There are many ways to shorten the content and depending on what type of content you have, this might not be the best approach, but because we're dealing with simple paragraphs and text, this works just fine. Okay, so the final thing we'll do here is add blog to our navigation and make sure that that navigation link is active when we're on the blog itself, the listing, or on an actual blog post. So we'll go back to the CraftCMS admin panel, go back to globals, and header. And this is where we built out our navigation in CraftCMS previously. And let's create a new nav link. The link text will be blog, and the link destination, we don't want it to be an actual blog post, we want it to be the main blog listing. And this is where we run into a problem. Because our blog list page is not actually a section in Craft CMS or an entry in Craft CMS, it's just a template. So we can't actually select it as an entry here to link to it. There are a few ways we could get around this. One way would be to create a second option here. So instead of linking to an entry, we could add another field where you simply type in the address you want it to go to. But in this case, let's go ahead and create a section for the blog listing page instead of just having it be a template. So we'll go to settings, sections, create a new section and we'll call this blog. And this will just be a single and it will be at blog. The template we're going to use is the blog slash index. So we'll save this. And let's just check that we didn't mess anything up in our blog itself. So we'll refresh this. This is still fine. Perfect. And now if we go to globals again, header, create a new nav link called blog and choose a link destination. Under singles, we now have blog. Let's drag this to the top and save. Go to the website and refresh. And there we go. We have blog appearing in the header along with our other links. And we actually already wrote the code to highlight this link if we're in this particular section. Let's see if it works when we go to a blog post. And yes, it still works. So that's it. That's how you create a simple blog in Craft CMS. Thanks for watching.